Hey subscribers, welcome back to Broke Harry Kruger. Uh, trying out the hat mount on this wasp cam. It's going to be a real good test on the audio because I'm going to be up by the blower here in a minute. Just kind of go over some things here on what we do unloading. This tank is, uh, we don't haul liquid in these tanks, it's dry. Flour, starch, grain, uh, corn sugar, about like a powdered sugar, uh, soda ash, uh, pretty much anything you put in the dry van blow off. But uh, like I said, not sure how the audio is going to be. It's going to be a test on the audio because I'm going to go up by the blower, kind of go over. Shaft-driven PTO. Basically, like an air compressor, it'll blow air. We hook it. It's called the hotline. I'll explain in a minute why we call it the hotline. We hook our hotline to it. It connects to the trailer. Air goes through a filter. Got a one-way valve here, so no nothing can come back into the blower. At this point here, I can send air up to the top of the tank, where it pressurizes, puts the air into the tank, and there's no outlets in this tank. So once the air goes in, it ain't got nowhere to go. It pressurizes. It. I've got this closed right now. If I had this valve like this, with the pipe, it'd be open. This is our blowdown valve. Basically, it makes an exit for the pressure to escape once it's closed. I got the air flowing down this way. There goes, some of the air is going down this pipe, some of the air is going down the bottom line here. I'll explain this bottom line in a minute. But what, to start with, this valve's open, the air comes down this line. Got the individual aerator control valves. These are the aerators and they actually set in here and vibrate. But uh, with this open, some of the air is going down this way, some of the air is going down this hopper, some of the air is going down this one, some of the air is going down this one. Now this is a 1,600 cubic foot trailer. Uh, let's see if I can find it here. Should be capacity. I'll get it on the camera here. Capacity, 1,600 cubic feet. Right now, I have seven pounds, by uh, about seven and a half pounds per square inch of pressure in there. Instead of the hose, if I had this cap on here and had, the, had it closed, do, these are called dog ears here, had the dog ears, had it locked on there, and had the seven and a half pound of pressure, and I flipped these dog ears back and it hit you in the head, it would kill you. It would be just like a missile coming off there. Uh, Seven and a half pounds per square inch in a 1,600 cubic foot tank. And of course their, their line pressure is at three. 
So I cannot. I can let their pressure get up about eight, nine. I cannot let it go over ten. I uh, got a couple ways I can bring the pressure up. If I want the pressure to come up, I need more product and less air. So I can open the product valve, put more product in the in the line, or I can close the pressure control valve that controls how much air is going to that line. I can cut that back so there's less air. Uh, I'll cut back the pressure control valve a little bit. I'm just going to move it a little bit. Move it about a half a notch. And that's all it takes. You can see it's coming up already. Uh, I unloaded here yesterday. My first time unloading here was yesterday. I did it in an hour and 20 minutes. Usually an hour and a half, two hours is what they say it takes here. I've heard some say Oh, you got a white flower, it might take three hours. I did an hour and 20 minutes. Their gauge staying right around three. That's the one I'm worried about. Usually I'm worried about our gauge. But, uh, it's their gauge right now I really worry about. A little more product in line. Open that up. About a quarter notch. It don't take much. Yeah, I opened up product quarter notch and she's she's up there eight pounds anyway now. We can hook the blower up the way I explained earlier. Uh, our pressure control valve would close it, leave this open, we'd close all of these so the air comes down. And we can hook another hose here and hook it to a rail car. Uh, some a uh, special type of rail car called a pressure differential car, PD car. Uh, basically the PD car is set up like what you see on this uh, trailer. Uh, it's got the cones, it's got the hotline, uh, it's got the bottom product line, and uh, we can hook a hose from here to the rail car, and we can pressurize the rail car and then we hook a hose like this from the product line of the rail car to the product line here. We open up one of our hopper valves and we're basically, the air is going to the rail car, pressurize the rail car, and we can force product from the rail car into the trailer. But uh, our pressure control valve I got the tank pressurized, so it's got product pushing down into the product line. Well, if all I do is I got product just pushing down in the product line, it's just going to stay there and clog the line. So I got to have air coming down and out to help force that product out the trailer into their silo. Like I said, I opened up, <coughs> opened up product a quarter. We're up nine pounds there. We're uh, uh, it's still just over three on that. Got a rubber mallet. Uh, a lot of people use a dead blow. 
don't really need them. I can unload starch and generally speaking I can unload starch or I can load flour and not even touch a hammer to the trailer and I can get it empty. Dextrose, corn sugar, which is corn sugar, you need a uh, you need to feed on it a little bit. But uh, that's called the hot hose. And this is called the hot line. Because it's 35 degrees out here. That ain't so bad here. It's getting warmer. Yeah, that's a little warm right there. You can probably come leave a pair of gloves on there for 20, 30 minutes that are damp. You dry them. And then, of course, you get the hotter you get. That blower's working, it creates heat. Right now, the air coming out of that blower is almost 150 degrees. Just a little walk around while I'm unloading. I hope you enjoyed it. Appreciate you watching. We will catch you on the next video.